This next script is not necessary, but if you're up to it, it's going to add an awesome element of fun. We're going to need three scripts to communicate. Our first script registers the spawn point with the spawn manager, and the spawn manager receives events from spawn points and from players via the water balloon that hit them. In our first script, spawn point register under when world is started, add send event register to control, which is an object variable and add a parameter self. This is then attached to our spawn point and references our spawn controller, which is a pyramid object. Once this script is attached and references the controller, we can duplicate and place these spawn points all over the map. The next script we need is spawn manager. This starts by receiving the register event with parameter object ID. It then adds the object ID to an object list variable called spawn points. And then when player enters world, the script listens to events on the player. Listen to is an awesome code block, allowing you to get all of the events that run on another object, or in this case, on a player. Please note you cannot run a script on a player, but we can send events to the player which are received here. Next, we will receive another custom event called player hit, which is received with a player ID parameter. And then we will respawn the player ID to a random item from the spawn points list. You can find get item at index from list at the bottom of operators. Now we'll place a random number with zero on the left and the length of the list code block on the right. Make sure to attach the script to the pyramid object from before. Wonderful. With this addition, we can now respawn the player to a random location. Great work, this is awesome stuff. The last thing to do on our water balloon under collision with player event, indented below score plus one, place send event to object. Change my event to player hit and replace self with the player pill. You also need to place the player pill in the empty parameter slot. Now on our spawn manager, we will know what player was hit and we can respawn them accordingly. Now we can test this out. Splash, that's so cool and so much fun. In the next part, we're going to look at resetting the world entirely. 